Sweetians. Welcome back to Sweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Sweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie, and um, we are back with my, um, yeah, first ever voiceover over a build. So um, I apologize if this makes you sick or anything, um, but yeah, I had a few issues, and this is what I could recover. So we are going... Um, through the build about ready to do the furnishing but like the outside landscaping yeah I'm like probably a little too fast out there um, but the inside should be a heck of a lot better um, be patient with me as this is my first one I have absolutely no clue what to talk about so I hope you're all having a beautiful day um, I don't have a lot of stories. I mean, I work, I have a family, I have Sims. So, um, like, yeah. <laughs> well, I had a nice long day at work today, and I decided to come home and get this voiceover done um, so I could get this up for you because, you know, I've already messed up this Halloween episodes enough, but the house did turn out really beautiful, and I did want to make sure that I have this included and upload it for you because I really like the way it turned out. Um, I'm not the best of builders, but when I get inspired, um, I tend to think it goes okay. I have a lot of indecisiveness with this kitchen. Um, I do love it. I think it turned out really well. Um, guys, no! Um, I probably could have flipped the living room with the kitchen now that I think about it that might have worked really well but I do like this um you know this turned out to be more like I kind of seen that you know she's the the family sim you know she got turned into a vampire she didn't want to be and she's always longed for a nice big happy family lots of friends that type of person you know so with her being a vampire she doesn't plan on you know not having any of that she plans on you know having her big happy family having friends entertaining enjoying life um so i do see her cooking and baking a lot so i wanted to make sure she had a nice big kitchen and a nice dining area and living area kind of like all open plan for her to you know socialize with her guests and hang out and just enjoy that um you'll see i, I finagle with things a lot i'm not quite keen on where some things had to lie but you know <sighs> some things are very fidgety in the sims and you can't have it exactly the way you want it so you take what you can get and you move on so i ended up giving up on certain things and like that corner with the coffee machine and the cups yeah i just gave up i was like this isn't working out the way I wanted to. I, hopefully, it is usable. I did not access, um, um, what's that called? Oh my gosh. Uh, you can tell I had a long days at work. My brain is like, done. It's over. I'm so sorry. Um, I didn't play or test it. That's it. Um, so I do apologize if something doesn't work and you have to move it a little bit and tweak it. But, yeah. I think it turned out really beautiful and so if it was me and you know, I could kind of live with it um, if something I had to move just a tiny bit um, I really liked this desk thing merge that I did here but the chair was like off center and it was really bothering my OCD I could not handle it I was like oh my goodness this sucks so so bad so I ended up going with this one and putting like a little shelf up above it, which covered that it, you know, it wasn't all the way against the wall and it like had a little gifty type thing to it. So it did cover that. Um, and you know, oh, I like this plant I did, I did in the corner. Um, I put two and did the moved objects and moved it up and it looks really cute in that corner and fills it in and just gives it a nice clean, but manicured look that you know you like some succulents in there things like that so um i do use move objects and i do use recolors of the um 
actual things in The Sims. So if you want this house, please make sure you have custom contact, custom content checked um, when you go on my gallery to look for it. And I'll have that linked down below for you um, to get on my gallery. You know, hey, go follow me over there. I'm starting to put up lots of builds and everything for you guys. And they're turning out really amazing. So go follow me so you can have them. Um, and also have your move objects on when you download this house in because as you can see I do have move objects on and if you don't some things might fall they might not be perfect they might not be where they need to be so just have it on for you know goodness sakes but um, I put like the little spell book uh, vampire book there on the counter and kind of merged it into the wall I made it like you know it was her big cookbook that she had out and she was going to be making something there and I mean she had plenty of counters so losing one for aesthetics didn't really bother me any um, oh and that pan hanging I did loved it um, I merged this up so you had like the cans there but it didn't have the picture but I didn't want them so that turned out really well too there I like that and she has her little herbs in the other corner now I had one heck of a trouble I did not like the gap in between the counter and the windowsill, but I love the window inside and out. And I really liked how all the cabinets were. So I'm like, hey, I got to cover that up. I was like, okay, just do curtains. It'll be okay. I'll cover it. And like for the life of me, I went through like every single curtain, every single everything and uh, did not find anything I really liked. I ended up, you know, doing that thing you do in the Sims, just settling because you can't have everything you want and you just give up. So there you go. Go with that. Um, I do go with this um, modest tiling in the kitchen. I think it gives it a nice good pop. I was trying to bring in some of the brickery from outside inside as focal accents, but the more I played with it and tried to make it work and then trying to figure out what the rest of the house will be inside would be. Oh my god, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, it just didn't look right. The aesthetic did not look good. And and so I gave up. And then I wanted like this like entry area. Like, you know, when you just come in, you have a place to drop your things. But it like blocked too much of the open concept that I really wanted for her for this idea and stuff. And I was like, mm, no, can't do it. And then I fell in love with the seating here. I mean, I was like, yes, this is perfect. This is like an entertaining little round table. See all your friends. No one's at the end. Got to scream down the table. This would be perfect for this type of sim and stuff. And so I like designed the whole dining area around this table, which gives me a little bit of, because, mm, you know, I really wanted to put a bar in there, but then that took out of the living area part. And like I said, I probably could have changed. I'm about ready to put the living area over here in this. And I'm waving my hands around like you can really see them as I'm pointing on camera where it's going to go. Yeah, you can see that right over there, okay? Um, I'll be putting in the living room over here in this little U cove corner here. And I could have made that the kitchen. And the kitchen would have been a little bit smaller. It probably would have worked. Um, but I like how it turned out. It's like cozy. And I got this downloaded custom content um, TV cabinets, and I really wanted to use one, but once again, it just didn't really go too well with the aesthetic and, you know, fit in the way I really wanted it to fit in and stuff. So, excuse me, I ended up giving it up and moving on, and then... I spent forever with the furniture as well because I ended up deciding I wanted to go with these pops of red because there's like a pops of red outside. So I was like, I want to bring that inside and just bring in a pop of red. And so, you know, I did that in the dining area. I really liked it. There's that pop of red in the kitchen and with the windows, you know. So I wanted to continue that, but I didn't want this like old granny or Victorian. And I mean, the table is more like modern and sleek and stuff. So I was really struggling with what I really wanted to put in there. And I ended up going with this one, which 
is okay. Um, wasn't ideally what I wanted, but once again in The Sims, you kind of go with the lesser of evils and uh, you could decide from there. But, you know, all in all, I really do think it turned out very beautiful and stuff. And you'll see me playing around a little bit. Um, that bookcase just fits in so well there in that corner. I just, I make it happen and stuff. Um, and then once again, I'm fiddling with end tables because, you know, I want a couple end tables, but yet I don't want that old fill and I don't want the too vampy fill. I wanted sleek and modern and I'm not really good at that. So me and it wanted, and I really wanted to put some things on this windowsill. <laughs> realized you can't do that so like I'm like oh I was gonna put succulents in the window sills on the inside be so cute one pot of plant here one there one there oh yeah a couple in the kitchen for herbs you know no didn't work mm -mm. so that idea went out the window very fast but okay you live you learn you play the sense some more and stuff um and once again I do struggle with some paintings because the walls are quite fair to me I like very decorated houses. They looked more lived in, more homey to me. Um, I don't like things bare in The Sims. Oh, and I couldn't put a bar in, so I ended up putting in that globe bar, which I never use on anything. Never use that globe bar. But I decided I really wanted to use it here, and it fit in really well. So they can have treats and you know, conversate, go in the living room or the dining area, just kind of hang, you know. Um, but yeah, so it fit very well, and I think I like that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Tap things, so now you can see things again. My bad. <sighs> Not used to all this talking. So I do fidget around a little bit with certain things, but all in all, I think it turned out very well. Um, this bathroom, I ended up changing a couple different times. I had an idea and when I started to place it down and put it, I was like, you know, I really don't like it and stuff. I was like, you know, I am not sure. And I was like, this is like really horrible. And so I ended up changing what my idea was. So I kind of fiddle with it to make it work. And then at the end of it, end up loving how this bathroom turned out. I mean, I've never done a bathroom like this. And I think I might actually do more like this because this is really cute. And I like how I did this like water closet, we call them here in the U.S. where the toilet's in a separate room in the bathroom. So you have privacy when you get go on the toilet. Like, you shouldn't have privacy in the bathroom anyways, but whatever. You know, sins is the sins, and life is the life, and I just, yeah, I go with it. But, like, I decided I was going to put, like, a little laundry in there with it. I was like, you know, I don't have anywhere to put laundry. I didn't think about that when I was building. And I was like, oh, well, if I move this closet, take a little bit out of this bedroom over here, which is, like, totally fine. There's plenty of room in there. I can make that happen then I can put laundry here and just move some things around and it like turned into like a really cute idea I'm like kind of like that um and here I'm just fiddling with some things um quite love that idea I got that off of watching somebody else I was like how come I never thought of that that is such a good idea because I don't know about y'all, but in my bathroom, I have those towers on my sink in my master bathroom. And, like, yeah, it's, like, totally perfect. And then I'm like, oh, well, you know, shoving that desk there in the kitchen, I can't get it to not show in the cabinets and not be through the wall. So now i got to cover it up on this side. Um, so you'll see me playing with certain different things. Um, and then I just decide, you know what, there's only going to be one computer in this whole house out here so why don't I just put one more in there would be good and it'll it'll match it just looks like the desk is at the wall it's just a not as thick desk I'm like I'm cool with that it's got legs you can see it I'm good so yeah I thought it turned out very well on that idea and stuff and now that home has two computers because I was only gonna put one in it 
Um, also, I was going to make this a starter home when I first started, but, you know, I can't not do anything awesome because, like, when I do The Sims, when I furnish, it has to be a certain clutter. It has to be a certain way. Or I don't like playing in it. I just, like, it's too bleh. It's, no, I don't like it. So, like, <laughs> I like cluttering my stuff up like this. I mean, when you get me going, I have all this and da 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 move objects and I push everything around and it is usable. I've done a table like this before, so I know that one is usable, but still. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love, love, love things like that. And, you know, you, you don't go to a vanity and there's a little this and a little that. I mean, that is where a girl keeps all of her stuff, okay? If you don't know any guys out there watching me, okay, that is a girl's domain. You don't touch her vanity, okay? That is the way it is. So I'm like, she needs super good lighting over here, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of thought, you know, this is her room and everything else. And then I, once again, you know, I'm bringing in this hints of red. And I was like, ah, not quite sure. I'm really loving that much red. And then the other bedroom had absolutely no hints or red in it at all, but I loved it. It was so beautiful. I really don't change it. So <laughs> I was kind of like trying to figure this one out because like it was too much red then not enough pops of red and but yeah, it was a thing. I'm sorry, but it was a thing. And then, um, yeah, I move on to the bathroom. I'm just putting in the walls and the flooring, trying to decide if I wanted to keep the wood flooring in there, go tiles, ended up going tiles at the end. Um, and I went with a pop of red rug in there because, like, the walls were just too much. The rug is easier. And I think we're getting, yeah. Okay, time for me to go. Have a great night. Bye, sweetie.